Hey everybody, I just finished installing this 1600 watt solar array on my carport and it was surprisingly simple. Now if you live in an area where your power goes out frequently, it might be wise to have a solar setup so you can store some power and batteries so you can keep your appliances running during a power outage. The benefit to having solar panels is they are completely silent. A solar array of this size is perfect for the EcoFlow Delta Pro, the Blue Eddy AC500, or even a large DIY backup system because all those systems can take this much power via solar panels. Now I am not a professional solar installer, so I had to do a bit of research to find out how to properly mount these to a metal roof. So in this video, I'm gonna break down some helpful tips so you guys can do the same thing. And I also wanna show you an affordable way you can purchase solar panels online and get them shipped right to your door. So the first thing that you wanna do with a project like this is to determine what solar panels that you wanna go with. Now, I know I wanted to go with a larger format solar panel that was UL listed. So I found these Solar Ever 410 watt solar panels on Santan Solar's website. So let's break down the details for these solar panels. So here I am on Santan Solar's website and I used four of these solar panels for my projects. And take a look at this price, guys. $244.90, that is 59 cents per watt. Now in contrast, when I was looking locally at a 400 watt solar panel, I was quoted around $450 to $500 per panel. So this is considerably less expensive going through Santan Solar. Now keep in mind, you do have to add on a freight shipping charge, which could be anywhere from $200 to $350. But even with that added shipping cost, you're still looking at a total cost under what I could find locally. Now Santan Solar did reach out to the channel and wanted to collaborate and they offered to send out four of these solar panels in exchange for this video so I could see how this entire process went because I've never purchased these large solar panels from an online retailer before. Now, if you've never seen Santan Solar's website, they sell a bunch of different solar accessories. They sell solar panels by the pallet, they sell individual solar panels, they have solar kits, charge controllers, inverters, accessories, racks, and mounting hardware, they have batteries. Now they also sell blemished and used solar panels for super cheap prices. So if you want an even cheaper price, then check out some of their blemished and used solar panels on their website. Now I specifically chose these four solar panels because the power that they put out. Now if you look at this open circuit voltage, which is the peak voltage that you get on these solar panels, if you put four of these together in series, it's right under 150 volts VOC. And you can see that they also put out a little bit higher amperage. So they have a little bit lower voltage and a little bit higher amperage than some of the other panels like this. And so these are built perfectly for the EcoFlow Delta Pro and the Blue Eddy AC500 power stations. So now that I picked out my specific solar panels, I needed to research what type of roofing I had on my carport and what equipment I needed to mount the panels properly. I found some really good options online, so let's quickly break that down. Now there are a ton of different types of panels that your carport can use for its roofing. And after a bit of research, I determined mine uses these Premier AG panels. Now looking at the specifications, each rib is three quarter inches tall. They're separated by nine inches with these structural ribs in between. And the entire thing is 36 inches wide. So apparently this is a very common roofing panel for carports. So now that I knew the roofing panel that my carport used, I could then move on to a compatible mounting system. Now, after doing research for a compatible system to mount my solar panels to my metal roof, I kept coming across this S5 company. And if you look at the solar mounting options, they have both standing seam mounting options and exposed fastened. And this is the type of roof that I had. Now I found the Protea bracket to work best. So this is what I ended up going with. Now I liked this because it has this butyl tape under each one of these arms and it has these really nice screws that go into the rib that have these rubber gaskets. So you get a really nice water seal and you get a better picture of that down here of how that mounts in. And it's completely adjustable to the specific rib size that you use on your roof. So I decided to go with the Protea bracket from S5 and now I just needed to find a compatible rail system. And that's where the Snap and Rack Ultra Rail comes into play. Now there was a local solar supplier that, the, that had this in stock, so I was pretty happy when I saw how easy it was to use. Now I went with the UR40 rail that was black. Now each of these are 14 feet long. Now because my actual array was over 14 feet, I had to purchase three of these. So I purchased three of these UR40 rails and two of these UR40 splices so I could make my array the total length that it needed to be. 
I also purchased four of these UR40 end caps to give it a good finished look on the ends. Now to attach the rails to the protea feet that I already purchased, I needed this adapter right here. And this is where the rails snap into place. So I purchased 10 of these L foot attachments. Now I will show you, they just announced a compatible S5 bracket down below. So pretty funny that I missed that by a week or so. Now in order to attach the solar panels to the rails, you need these mid clamps that go between the solar panels. So I purchased six of these mid clamps and on the end you need a universal end clamp. So I purchased four of these. So 10 brackets total, six mid clamps and four end clamps. Now I'll show you guys the S5 bracket here. So they just partnered up with S5 and you can see this is the bracket I actually already purchased. I purchased 10 of these. It would have been nice just to purchase this by itself because it comes with the attachment where the rail snaps into it. But I had to purchase 10 of these by themselves and 10 of these by themselves. So it's really cool that they partnered up and now they have this bracket alone. But now that I had the solar panels, the actual mounting system and the rails, I could put the entire system together. So these are what the assembled mounting brackets looked like once I attached the snap and rack adapters. Installing these on the metal roof was fairly simple. They just screw into the metal rib and then you want to make sure that you mount them near a supporting beam under the roof for the best results. I measured a specific distance from the end of each panel so all these would line up and then installed each bracket. I installed a total of 10 brackets and this was probably a bit overkill but I really wanted to distribute the weight of the array evenly across the carport. I noticed a bit of metal shavings left on the roof, so I decided to blow these off with my leaf blower. I didn't want them sticking to the roof and causing premature rusting, and I'm sure my neighbors were wondering what the heck I was doing on my carport. The next step of the process was installing the solar rails on the mounting brackets. Once I cut each rail to length, I took them up on the carport and snapped them into place and tightened them down. Here's what both rails looked like once they were completely installed. Now that the rails were in place, I had my brother help me lift the panels up onto the rails to mount them. This is the only part of the project where I needed an extra set of hands and I would definitely recommend having someone help you do this part as well. Now here are some close-up shots of the mounting brackets, the solar rails, and the panels all mounted together. Overall, this part of the project was my favorite since it went so smoothly and I really liked the final results. The final part of the project was wiring the solar panels. These four solar panels are wired together in series. I then took the main power cables from the panels and routed them through this liquid tight non-metallic conduit to my existing junction box for my other solar array. The power wires are then routed into my shed where I have an inline DC circuit breaker installed. I can also use these DC breakers as solar disconnects to shut off the arrays if I need to work on the wiring. So now that these panels have been installed for a few days, I've been really happy with the performance. Now I'm currently charging my Blue Eddy AC500 and have these plugged in so let's go ahead and see what type of performance we're getting from the panels. So here's the screen on my Blue Eddy AC500 and right here you can see the solar inputs. We're getting around 2,074 watts. So we can break that down. So the top array here is the new carport array. So we're getting around 108 volts at 1,296 watts. And then this one is from my shed. So this is 93 volts at around 777 watts. Now just FYI, this was around 55% state of charge this morning, and it's just a little bit after noon, and it's already at 94% state of charge. So this thing is charging super quick. Now keep in mind, I use this solar array to charge my power stations and batteries. It is completely disconnected from the power grid, so this is an off-grid system. Now if you're looking for a solar array to put on a carport to do a grid-tied system, you're going to have to look for some different resources online because that is not what I'm covering in this video. Now hopefully you guys have found this information helpful or at least entertaining, and if so, please smash that thumbs up button. Now I'll also include a 5% off discount code down in the video description for Santan Solar's website. So if you're interested in picking up some solar panels of your own, you can save 5%. I'll also include a few helpful resources for mounting solar panels to a metal roof down in the video description. I appreciate you guys checking out the video and hopefully we'll see you guys in the next one.